What's up YouTube? It's the Big Kahuna back again with another video. And today I have another special guest. Guest, shout yourself out. What's happening guys? Gotti360 coming at you tonight. Hope everybody's having a great night. Okay, now, Gotti, um, you hit me up just recently and wanted me to check out one of your videos. Um, I also seen on Facebook you had made a comment about the new feature, which is kind of a new feature. Originally, when in the beginning on the X, X1, and, and Gotti, just so you know, since I'm recording this, you have to say X1. If you say the other word, it's going to mess up the recording. But anyway, because we're going through the connect. But um, in, the, in the beginning, the X1 had 32 man party chat. And I guess that was a little overboard, so they scaled it back to eight, and now they just increase it to 12. So go ahead and explain to me what the controversy is that's going on with your channel now, and you're, you know, talking about the 12 man party chat. Okay. So I did a video, man, a couple of days ago. Well, whenever they announced that, simply stating the fact that I had no interest in 12 man party chat. For the simple fact that there's been many times where I've been in a party, been invited into parties, you get in there, you got nine dudes out of the twelve talking over talking over everybody. Uh, another dude may have his, his stereo up so loud that you can't even think straight. And I just have no interest in being in a big group of people when you can't even have a sensible conversation. So I made the video, I stated that. And that video got a little bit of backlash. And then I did another video clearing up, the, clearing up the fact that I did not ever say that the feature shouldn't have been added. I never knocked any of you guys who enjoyed the feature. I simply said that I have no interest in the feature. And that video actually got more backlash <laughs> than the original video. You know, and it just it doesn't make any sense to me because I tried to clarify. I even apologized to anyone who may have been offended. And it just blew me away that that video, either one of those videos could draw so much controversy because I've never made it a secret that I'm a gamer. I prefer Xbox. I have since the Xbox came out, the original Xbox, but I also have always had a PlayStation. Now, that being said, I don't, I don't really want to steer too far off topic here. But I built my channel around the fact that I'm a gamer. I love gaming, and I do this because I love gaming. So the reason I always have a PlayStation is for the very, very few exclusives that they have. Granted, I don't like any of them that are out right now, pretty much. But Uncharted Collection looks tight to me. Uncharted 4 looks tight to me. So just because I prefer Xbox, I'm not going to come on my channel and say those games look like shit, because that's not how I feel, man. Um, and it goes both ways. Just because I prefer Xbox doesn't mean I'm going to praise every single feature that they add to the X to the X1. I'm just not going to, man. Um, now, so I guess it just kind of blows me away, because I feel like I just never try to hide anything on my channel. And, and you know, I've had a couple guys come out and compare me to another YouTuber that I actually had some words with several months ago who I feel is a fake-ass gamer. And to me, when those dudes compare me to that guy, man, it's like a kick in the face, man. Um, some of these guys that commented in my comment section, obviously I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to take it to that level. Some of these guys, I've went to war for these guys, man, had their back in comment section. Um, you know... When they say things I don't agree with, I thumb up their video, even if I don't agree with it, man, because I feel like this this Xbox community, this gaming community, we're a family, and uh, you and I had spoken about that as well. Um, if, if somebody I feel like is in my gaming family, which is, you know, all you guys know who you are, you guys have a problem, I feel like airing it out in my, com you know, my comment section isn't the way to go about it. If you're a random dude who I don't know, I don't care what you say in my comment section. But if you're somebody who I fuck with and I talk with and um, I mess with on this gaming tip, I feel like if you have a problem, you need to come to me in a, in a private private chat, not on a personal level in my comment section. Um, to me, that's just not cool. 
and you know we're all supposed to be tight and, and in this in this for the long haul, man. And I just feel like it's just disrespectful. And I don't think that you know just because I disagree with twelve man party chat that I'm a pony, <laughs> and that it just blows me away. So it really does, man. It blew me away, man. And you know what? And and I agree with a lot of stuff you said. Um, me myself, I like the feature, but I'm not gonna go. You know what? That damn that damn guy is a traitor, and he's a you know what? Because there's lots of features that are on the X1 every day that someone may or may not use. There's features that I don't use on the X1 all the time, but I'm glad that the features are there so I can use those features. And right. what you were saying about the uh, whole party chat is very true. You get in party chats, you got people who just don't think about other people. They're in there singing, um, rapping, or they got their song up, or, you know, you hear all kinds of stuff in the background, or, you know, one thing that's irritating is one guy that always comes in party chat, I know he knows who he is, um, he's always on his connect. Now, the connect ain't a bad thing. But when you can hear every single thing in the house, that's a bad thing. Right. And yeah, I mean, it's uncourteous, man. And I just feel like, um, man, I keep my circle in real life small. <laughs> so when it comes to YouTube, I keep my circle even smaller. You know what I mean? So I really just have no desire to be in a 12-man party chat, man. And like I said, I'm not knocking you guys who enjoy the feature. That's great. I just simply stated, I don't enjoy the feature, man. Um, and that's where I was coming at, you know. That's where I was uh, trying to go with that video. But for some reason, some people just took it wrong. And, you know, I even apologized in the, in the uh, second video regarding that topic. And I don't know if the people that continued to talk crazy didn't even watch the second video or what. But I feel like they didn't or they wouldn't say, have said the things that they said, man. Well, you know, sometimes, and I've said this in many videos myself, sometimes it's not that some, and in, in, in some cases, they don't listen to the video. They might just see the title of the video, and that might be just enough there to spark them to, you know, talk shit. But in some right. cases, they watch the video, they hear what you're saying, but they don't process the information that you're actually saying. When I watch videos, I try to go by what I preach to other people. I try to listen to what the person is exactly saying. Now, sometimes when you say uh, something about their preferred console or some feature that's on their system that they love, but you don't like it, people don't understand that, and then that's when they want to insult you, call you a pony, a traitor, a flip-flopper. Well. Or, you know, something like that. that is, though, is I've never kept it a secret about what my channel has been built around, man. I've never claimed to hate PlayStation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I've always stated that I'm a gamer who prefers Xbox and dabbles in PlayStation a little bit, man. And, you know, it's like you and I have talked, man. I take this gaming thing real serious, man. So, you know... For people to come out of their mouth and say certain things, people that I consider, that I consider that, you know, we were friends in this community, we were family, like you said, it just, it's crazy to me, man, it blows me away, I, I still, I can't even get over it, <laughs> it just, it, it's, man, it's a trip. Yeah, unfortunately, that happens, I mean, if you, like I said, I, I once had to, you know, back up Anchorman because, you know, he made a video talking about how he didn't like the Halo. It was buggy. He took it back. And people wanted to crucify him for that. And my whole thing was I love Halo. I love it. Right. I'm Absolutely. going to get the next one. Halo but 5 is going to be epic. Exactly. But I'm not going to condemn this man because he thought it was buggy or he didn't like it or whatever. That's Everybody is different. And if Everybody can wrap their mind around the fact that everybody has different tastes, different likes, different dislikes. Then maybe people can move past the whole, what, you didn't like this game? What, you don't like this console? You're a piece of shit and, you know, that type of stuff. But people don't. Well, Go ahead. Yeah, no, I agree, man. Um, you know, and I've also read comments that, you know, why don't I do more videos with Upload Studio? Why do I make a lot of my videos with Share Factory? 
Okay. Yeah, you and I, okay. Months I, ago, have yeah. talked about this. I, I, I'll stop you right there. Didn't mean stop you, but I'm stop you right there. No, for, for the people out there who wonder why that he's only doing stuff on Share Factory, he's told me many a times that his Share Factory, for some reason, doesn't work. And in fact, he says he's had to, how can I say, he's had to uh, uninstall YouTube, reinstall it, uninstall Share, I mean, um, upload studio, reinstall it, up, uh, uninstall, upload, and reinstall that as well. Now, I had to uninstall, upload myself. And yes, this also has to do with the fact that I'm in a preview program and it causes all kinds of bugs and stuff. But that's what we do the preview program for so everybody else doesn't have to go through the same thing. But I myself there's times when people have hit me up saying, hey, man, you haven't made a video in a while. What's going on? What's going on is my upload studio is fucking up. So if I had had a PlayStation at the time, I probably would have did my video with the PlayStation. So, you know, you've experienced lots of problems because you're in the preview program. And, of course, I know somebody will come in here and go, well, why don't you get out of the preview program? Well, right. We also want those features that are coming out earlier so we can get to test them and all that other stuff as well. So it's, uh, you know, uh, it's one of those situations where you damned if you do and damned if you don't. If you stay in there, you're going to experience problems. If you get rid of it, then you're not going to get to experience all those new features and stuff. So with, right. so in closing, I'd like to say there's a lot of people who are not going to like the features, the new features that we get, and they're going to be upset if you talk bad about those features. And I think some of the reason may be because, you know, the X1 gets a lot of shit, you know, thrown at yeah, it as it is. The, the, I agree, man, but the thing is, if you really know me and I mess with you in this gaming community, you know that I'm an Xbox to the core, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm an Xbox guy, man. I know this. So, I, I mean, know this. I definitely you know, know this. I know that you also hide offline, like I do as well, because you don't want to be in those big party chats where people are rude, talking over top of people. Now, if you go into a party chat and one person's talking, trying to talk over somebody else, or you got the one guy who's playing his music loud or something, and you say, hey, can you turn that down? Then you get to fuck you. I'll do what I want. And you know all that type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean... That's what I mean, man. I don't have time to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that. Um, and that's the more, more, you know, and then you get the people saying, oh, well, you can moderate it. You can mute them if you don't want to hear them. Yeah. What the fuck is the point in being in a 12-man party chat if you're going to have five of those people muted? You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, I it makes no sense to me, man. I understand you, but at the same time, even if you mute, mute them, say you mute the guys. But if you're talking to me, and one of those guys that you muted are talking to me as well. Then I have two people talking to me. And the person who's muted doesn't realize that somebody else is talking to me at the same time. So that's also a problem. Right, right. But anyway. Yeah, I mean. This is my boy, Gotti360. <laughs> now, if you don't like what he said about, you know, 12-man party chat, I mean, not everybody's going to like cool. Not not everybody's going to care about the 12 man party chat. Some people are not going to give a shit about it. I've seen videos out there talking about games over gimmicks. I mean, mm -hmm. there's people who are not going to care for that. I myself, I care for it, but I'm not going to condemn my friend because he doesn't care for it. I'm sure there's plenty of games that me, he and I would disagree on, but I can't expect him to like everything I like and I can't expect him to like everything that I like. But in closing, right. I just like to say, fanboys don't love their favorite system. They just hate yours. You want to say something, Gotti? Nah, man. I'm good. I'm good. I think I said everything I need to say, man. <laughs> All right. And this won't be the last time that Gotti's on my show, by the way. Peace.